Welcome back. In this module, we will talk about documenting software architectures. What constitutes an architecture description? What we are saying in documenting software architectures is, I have a document where looking at it, I know all about the architecture. There is a description of the architecture and other related issues. Once I have that, I can pass it on to the stakeholder. It is a reference document which talks about what the what is the architecture that has been cut for that particular problem. So, what constitutes an architecture description? It has to talk about what is the version and the overview of the system. You have to identify the stakeholders, their concerns. You have to specify each viewpoint that has been selected to organize the representation of the architecture and why you have chosen those viewpoints. And then you have to have a set of views, a view set. If there are any inconsistencies in your description, you have to flag them. And finally, why that particular architecture has been chosen? Why did you make those decisions that are made in the architecture? So, if you put all these pieces of information together, you have an architecture description. You can see it is basically centered around a view set a views based description. If I choose a view set and describe my architecture around that, then I have a architecture description. Once you have this, you prepare the document. The document is a simple uh, way to capture all the information. You should talk about when it was prepared, the change history, uh, the summary, the scope, the context, glossary, references. All this information has to go along with the package that you prepare to describe the architecture. So, the architecture document should define the stakeholders of the system. You have to remember take a minimum set, minimal set. Do not make it so big that it becomes at some times not focused enough. Okay. You pick up the minimal set, what we mean by the important stakeholders uh, who actually impact the architectural description. You have to capture the concerns, again the viewpoints, and then describe it through a set of views. Okay. The best place to uh, figure out how to describe architectures is a book by the SCI community, multiple authors, Clemens, Bachman, Bass, David, and so on. It is a, a beautiful book. I learnt a lot of uh, my architecture knowledge from this book. It talks about how do you document architectures views and beyond that is the title. It tries to take a view, the set of views that are possible and it tries to classify them into view types. All the types of views that can exist actually fall into only three view types. They are described here and, and analyzed in great detail. So, you could look at this document, this book if you are interested in a detailed treatment on documenting software architectures. So, the exercise for this section is you should prepare an architecture documentation template. What do we mean by this? So, it is a word file for example, which has the various sections properly identified. You as organization may converge on for my all my projects dealing with insurance sector, I will use these four views. Each one of the view is described using this tool. I will use a particular tool. I might use UML diagram. So, once the decision is made, you can now freeze the various sections, chapters that would be part of the documentation template. So, if you can create a documentation template for your organization and all projects follow that, it is going to be of enormous benefit. It is going to help the person who is designing the system, the person who is building the system. There will be reuse possible across projects and finally, when you do project analysis, the doc, this kind of template based documentation is going to be useful. When new people come in, 
they need to learn, they need to be trained. Again, a template, if it exists and which is filled in properly, is going to be of enormous use. This constitutes the knowledge of the organization. You can do mining on it, you can do various analysis on it. So, it would be very nice if you can take up this project for your organization and come up with a documentation template, which is which gets standardized in your organization and gets used. Thank you.